Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back. And look at my top, look at my top. Oh my god, it has like a little thing like, mm, it's cute right? It's a little crop top to, whoop, oh I think I broke my chair. I broke my chair, but it's like a little crop top too. It's cute, it's cute. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. If you're also back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. But if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing. We have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty. And we like to just chat and hang out and have a good time. And that's exactly what we're doing in this video. So I am playing in some new makeup and new skincare that I picked up during the creators and friends trip so we got goodie bags and we got a ton of products to try out so I have things from Sigma I have their bronzer their cream blushes I also have these new Jones Road powders these were sent to me Jones Road reached out to me and I'm like all right send me stuff what send me stuff and I'm trying this new foundation I got recommended this on the trip by Khaki Reviews Beauty. She mentioned this, but I had my eye on this, but I wasn't too sure. And she kind of sent me over the edge so I like, get it. So I grabbed this, I'm trying this out. And then one of the creators that were on the trip, Heather Austin, just released her collaboration with Unearthly Cosmetics, which is a brand that I was introduced to on the trip again. They were one of the sponsors, so we got some goodies from them. This is her palette. So we're using some shadows from this. And we also have her highlighter duo. All right, that's cute. We're wearing that too. And I also got a palette from Glamlight. This is one of the first palettes I picked up from Glamlight that I'm showcasing on my channel. I picked up like the Martini Liquor Collection. Didn't like those palettes. Kind of decluttered them without even sharing them on the channel. But I recently picked up their Chucky palette which is a deep dark smoky palette all right not for the tame of heart but i love a deep smoky eye so i use this like mostly the mattes i use the mattes in this and the shimmers in this you'll see as we get into it i also have a new like moisturizer like a serum from undefined beauty this was also one of the brands that sent us some goodies on the trip so i'm trying out the serum i'm gonna try out some more of this this is a black owned brand they also have a sunscreen so i'll try that out in upcoming videos i have some new primers from l'oreal i know they sent me these four primers and we're gonna test them out because why not that's what we do so foundation powder blush bronzer eyeshadow all that good stuff if you want to see how i created this look and catch up with me i'm gonna fill you guys in on what's been going on and why i can't catch a break because i mentioned i would catch you guys up on that in my last video where i mentioned like life's been dealing it to me okay and i've been struggling to keep up but it's fine it's life it's fine it's not that bad it's not that bad but it is kind of bad. So if you want to catch up with me and see how I created this look and test out some new products, then let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, guys. So as usual, I'm starting off with a clean, freshly washed face. I have not done anything to moisturize because I have quite a few products to try out. So I figured the best way to approach this video is to use all these products while chatting with you guys. So let's start out with some lip balm. I have this new one from Pharmacy. Oh my God, super cute, hold on. So this is the Pharmacy Lip Smoothie. It is a vitamin C and peptide lip balm in the flavor apple. It says it's upcycled apple and mango seed. So I'm guessing like apples that they've rejected from the pile to go into the supermarkets. They just use these instead. So okay, let's go ahead and apply this. It does smell, mm, it smells nice, but I don't smell apple. It's like a light fruity scent though. There's no flavor, but I mean vitamin C and peptide, I'll take it. It's very, very shiny and it feels good so far. It's like a thinner lip balm. It's not really thick or goopy. It feels almost like a lip oil in that consistency it's very thin so i like that and then i have this r and r hydro jelly 
from Undefined Beauty. It is hydrating and firming and replenishing. So this is from a black owned brand. We got this in our goodie bags on our Charleston trip, the Creators and Friends trip. I filled you in in my last video. That was the last get ready with me. And I'm following up because I mentioned in that last video that I can't catch a break and that I would tell you all about it in another get ready with me. So we're using this product. I've never tried Undefined Beauty before. So this is a hydrating jelly. It's meant to be applied kind of like a moisturizer, I'm assuming. So it says hydrated skin equal healthy skin barrier. This versatile prebiotic face eye serum delivers an intensive dose of hydration via peptides, beta glucan, glycerin, gota cola. I don't know what that is. Reishi. Girl, what are these words? Ashawanda. Innovative uh, fermentation technology to balance, firm, and replenish the skin barrier for plump, bouncy, lasting hydration to quench both the dry and dehydrated skin. My skin is not dehydrated. So we're going to see. It's a very lightweight serum, though. It's made in the USA. Cruelty-free, female-founded, black-owned, clean formula, sustainably sourced, plant-based, inclusive, lab-tested, cruelty-free, no BS, like all the things, okay? There are no parabens, silicone, sulfates, palm oils. First ingredient, water, followed by glycerin. We have some aloe leaf juice and caffeine. Centella Asiatica leaf. Okay, so that's what the Gatsu Cola is. The Ashwagandha. All right, all right. So it's like a really simplified ingredient deck and it's all the ingredients that they claim. So we'll see. It doesn't feel sticky now, but initially it did feel a little sticky. So anyway, like I was mentioning, does my skin look plump and hydrated? I'll take it. So, as I was mentioning, oh my god, I haven't caught a break. So, last I spoke to you guys, I'd just come back from my trip to South Carolina, Charleston, you know, with the girls, hanging out, having a good time. It was a great trip. Check out that video, like I mentioned, it was really good. And there are quite a few creators that created videos as well, so you can check them out. But, good times, right? And I had planned that trip out for a while, like, I knew it was coming up. But the problem I ran into with that trip is that it was on the back of a work trip, right? So I was gone for a week and a half for work. I didn't intend to be away for that long. It kind of rolled over because my customer needed us to be there and I ended up being the scapegoat. So I had to be there longer than I wanted to, right? So right after that trip, I then had to go to Charleston so I didn't have a chance to like film and edit and prep and do all that but I tried my best to do at least two videos you know one I filmed and I just scrapped it because it was like nonsensical it was a get ready with me video I didn't really like it I was getting ready to go to the airport it was a really simple quick face I was talking about the trip and I just scrapped it because I figured I could just talk about the trip when I got back and that would make more sense so I haven't had a lot of content going up and I'm tired, okay? <laughs> I'd be tired. I was saying this to Angelica Nequis. So Angelica was on the trip and I said to her, I'm like, I don't know how you do it. She said she films like three videos in one day. Like she'll just batch film and then she'll edit and it's just go, go, go. This girl posts like five to seven videos a week and she also does shorts and Instagram reels and I'm sure she's on TikTok and I'm like, I don't understand. Where do you find the energy? Like, where do you find the time? But then I remembered that I used to do that too, even with my full-time job, right? Angie is doing YouTube full-time for now. She left her full-time job, but even when she was full-time, she was still filming like a beast, right? And she's just pumping out content and I'm like, girl! right and she does like multiple looks per day i can't do that 
I can't. She was saying that she'll do like four looks in a day. That's why she has those videos where she does like four looks one video or four looks one palette. And then she's posting looks on Instagram and she's posting looks on shorts. And then she's doing like her channel membership videos only. And I'm like, wow, I mean, kudos to you. But I could never. I've done like two looks in one day and my eyes burned it was over for me I was like ah oh, no I can't do it so it's like one look and then if I can film a couple of talking videos with that one look on I can do two or three videos in one day but it would have to be like a weekend day right because I work full-time so my job is kind of demanding I have deadlines I have clients that need things done so obviously I work and then after work who wants to do another job? Like, no, seriously. No one wants to do that. No one wants a second job. I don't care. Hustle culture, not for me. Not for me. I like to live my life. So what's not going to happen is that I'm going to stress myself out going from my full-time job that's actually paying my bills to this second gig that, yeah, it feeds my habit, but it's not paying bills you know what i'm saying like a lot of the creators on the trip this is their full-time job so they of course have to dedicate that time and energy into the job because that's all they do right not all they do but you get what i'm saying like that's what they do for work so they have time to do it because obviously right so i am trying to get back into the groove of doing videos but i just can't find the time and i can't find the energy do my eyebrows look even i'm always struggling i'm like looking in the viewfinder is that annoying to you guys because i am a viewfinder gazer i don't focus as much in the lens as I would like it's kind of awkward because you want to look in the lens but you want to look at yourself to make sure you're in focus but you're looking at the mirror it's like a whole to do because the viewfinder kind of acts like a mirror too so I can see my browser even and I can see what you guys are seeing so I apologize if that annoys you it personally doesn't annoy me and maybe that's because I'm not like looking directly at the person when I'm watching their videos because I'm not necessarily watching every single shot I'm mainly like listening to them because at the end of the day I'm not watching makeup tutorials and those things anymore because I know what I know and I know what works for me and I'm happy with what works for me I don't mind learning about products and like maybe even a fun new technique but honestly I'm not watching for a tutorial anymore so I don't need to keep my eye on the video right so I apologize if that annoys you. I've not seen anybody complain about that on my channel, but I know people get annoyed by that. Like, why aren't you looking in the camera instead of at your viewfinder? And I'm like, <laughs> sorry. So yeah, so I went on that business trip, came back, and like right away had to like prep and go on. Did I put this primer on? You guys can't tell me, but I think I did. I did the primer for my brows, which is the Sephora Boost and Lock, and then the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion all over my lids, that's for my eyeshadow. So right after my business trip, I had to pack and prep, of course, to go on this Charleston trip. And in between that, of course, I have just regular life to be living and spending time with my loved ones and like doing life things, you know? Sleeping in if I want to, napping if I want to, catching up on different shows and reading my books and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here living life and just carrying on. And then we go on the creator trip. But here's the thing. I ended up hurting my foot somehow. I don't know how to this day. I still don't know how it happened. I have a theory though. And I think it's right based on what the diagnosis is or what the presumption of my ailment is okay so my foot my left foot got really swollen but it's not swollen at the ankle which I would expect because I've sprained my ankle and I'm like I've damaged my ankle so if my ankle swells up I gotta be like all right you know what I probably just re-injured it I twisted it at some point whatever right no, it's at the top of my foot towards the toes. So at the front top, 
right above the toes and I'm like this would make sense if something fell on my foot if there was a bruise you know if I recall something falling on my foot but nothing fell on my foot that I can recall and I'm thinking about it like really when you get hurt I am very clumsy okay so anytime I see a bruise or I feel a pain somewhere I know something happened and I don't really pay attention. But to me, this one would have had to be significant for it to be that injured. You know what I mean? It didn't make sense if it was just like, oh, something fell on my foot. Cause that was my initial thought. But it was so painful. It was so swollen. It hurt to walk. Like I was hobbling. It was bad. I figured that it had to be something more intense than like a bottle drop in my foot, right? But I couldn't for the life of me recall any time that happened. So the only thing that I could come up with is that I was wearing steel toe boots because I was at a test lab, a high power test lab. So I was like, all right, I was wearing steel toe boots. So maybe like that irritated my foot. The boots are from Harley Davidson. They're bike riding boots, but steel toe boots. So you can wear them for whatever, right? Whatever you need that safety for, you can wear it. So these are steel toe boots, but they lace up in the front. And so I was like, all right, maybe the steel toe boots were the problem because I wore them for so long and I'm in Florida so I have not worn like laced up boots in forever I'm always in slippers sandals and that's it like I'm not even wearing sneakers or anything that like laces up on my foot right I don't wear fully enclosed shoes and even if I'm in heels the heels are like not all the way up right so that's the only thing that I could come up with and it happened right after that business trip. So now my foot hurts and it's swollen for this trip to Charleston, but this trip's gonna happen, right? So we going, so it is what it is. And I mentioned in another video where I showed you my outfits, link it over here, check it out. I mentioned that I was just probably gonna wear flats. <laughs> I had some heels in mind that I wanted to wear, but I was gonna wear flats. So, let me show you the palettes I'm working with. So we have the Resurgence palette from Heather Austin and Unearthly Cosmetics. Unearthly Cosmetics is another brand that I was introduced to on this Charleston trip. And Heather Austin was there. A gorgeous girl, first of all, and she does amazing colorful looks. I was like, let me find out. And she's a Southern belle, like she has the strong accent. I'm like, Heather, what's going on? So this is her new collaboration with Unearthly Cosmetics and it was sent to me and I was like, yes, yes. So I'm going to try this out. I don't know. I'm not feeling like putting eyeshadow on right now. I'm really not in the mood, but I'm going to play with this. And then I also have this Glam Light and Chucky palette. This is the Crazy in Love palette. I love how they did this, right? So Crazy in Love, Chucky. Ah! I love it it's Chucky and the bride of Chucky I don't know what her name is but it's this like smoky palette and I haven't really tested out glam light on my channel I haven't really tried out their products because I hate the gimmick behind their brand I know they're kind of taming it a little bit but initially they would have these big gaudy palettes in the shape of like an ice cream cone or a cake or like a burger or a freaking taco like I'm not doing all that and now they're going into more you know streamlined palettes so I can mess with this the Chucky palette was one that I was intrigued by because of the color story it's very deep dark grungy I think this came out for did this come out for Valentine's Day or did it come out for Halloween I forget I think it was for Valentine's Day and then they did a restock and I was like all right I'm gonna grab it so I have these two palettes we're gonna figure it out I'm gonna start out with the Resurgence palette. Let's do Sarambos. Is that what that is? I think this is pronounced Sarambos. It's all about bugs, right? So we have Scarab Beetle Regeneration Life Jewel. Yeah, so it's very Egyptian beetle kind of thing. I'm thinking the mummy. This is what's in my head. Anyway, so let's use Sarambos, which is this kind of muted, dirty lavender. 
So let me zoom in. So, so I figured I could get away with just wearing flats, right? Some of the shoes that I brought were heels though, like the wedge shoes that I brought. So I figured I could get away with flats, comfortable shoes, and I started out the trip in those wedges because I was like, if my foot is gonna hurt and get swollen, it's gonna happen in these heels, right? So I figured I would start out the trip cute and then if I had to resort to just flats for the rest of it, that's fine. So that's what I did and I wore flats to the airport. So I was trying to be comfortable, but the thing about flats is sandals are gonna still have that little overlay part that sits on the part of my foot that was swollen, right? There was no bruise either, which made me very skeptical of what's going on. Cause I'm like, there's no bruise, so nothing fell on my foot. If there was a bruise, I would understand, but there was no bruise, all right? Let's go in with the Chucky palette and I'm taking, no. I want to take scarier than ever, which is this like mauvey brown. Yeah, it's like a rosy brown. And I think that will go with the lavender that we put down. Yeah, so I want to build up some depth and then we'll use some of the shimmers from the Heather Austin on the Earthly palette. I think that makes sense. So I figured I'd just be in pain. I'm going to suck it up. It's for the greater good. I'm on this trip. I'm going to have a good time. I'm not gonna let my foot like stop me, right? So that was the plan. This Glam Light palette, let me tell you, I have not been intrigued, like I said, by the Glam Light palettes, but I did pick up, I'm not sure what the name of that collection was, but it was the one with the palettes in like liquor bottles. So plastic liquor bottles. We had like wine bottles and martini bottles. It was just a whole to do. I hated that collection so much. I thought I would like it because then inside we had the actual palettes that were in this style of packaging, but like they came in those plastic bottles that you just threw away, right? You open them, it's like a encasing and then you threw it away. So I was like, that is so wasteful, but like I get it kind of, it's their shtick, but I hated those palettes. <laughs> I didn't like them at all. I liked the mattes, but they had these really thin shimmers in them that I didn't really like. So when I was moving, I decluttered them and I never spoke about them on my channel. I never even mentioned that I picked them up because it's just like, you know, whatever. All right, let's now go in with this purple down here, which is called Let's Be Friends. Mm. So, Metzelano, so the foot is not really getting any reprieve because it's in sandals, yes, I'm in flats, yes, but the freaking sandals is still gonna press down on the foot, right? So I'm in the airport walking, carrying on, and the foot, of course, is getting swollen, right? Again, I'm gonna power through. I'm gonna do this trip. I'm gonna have a good time. This pain is gonna be fine, right? And I packed like Tylenol, Aleve, a Motrin, Excedrin. Like I packed the whole thing because I'm like, if I need pain relief, it's gonna happen. But I try not to take painkillers that much. If I don't need to, I will really suffer through it until it gets to the point where it's unbearable then I will take a painkiller. Like if I can't sleep, then I'll take a painkiller. But if I just need to bite my lip and just suffer, I will suffer, right? I'm that kind of person. So the foot swell up in other shoes and it's no problem. I get to the house, you know, we're hanging out. And like throughout the whole week that we were there, I wore my flats, I tried to rest my foot. Jen Loves was so sweet. She kept asking if I needed ice. Lauren was asking me if I needed ice too, but Jen was like, get some ice for your foot. And I'm like, you're such a mother, Jen. You're so sweet. She was a sweetheart. But you know, I iced it. I did, I did what I could, right? But by the end of the trip, as I had expected, I was just down for the count. There was one night, I think it was the last night when everybody was like chatting, you know, that Wednesday night after dinner. And I couldn't, I just couldn't, my foot hurt so much that I gave up. I went to my room and it wasn't that I was being antisocial, it was just that my foot hurt and I wanted to cry. Like it's that point where you wanna cry, but it's not so bad that you're gonna take the painkillers, so. I just stayed in the room, I napped, I just relaxed, had the ice on my foot. Cause then the next day I'm gonna travel, right? 
So again, power through, got home, airport, all the stuff, right? Got home and the foot is swollen. So like I have a little hump, like a little camel hump on my foot now at the front, right? Again, this is in front of the toes. So it's just so weird what happened. And then my car almost got towed. They put like a whole warning on my car that it's gonna get towed because my registration was expired because I needed to register it for Florida because it expired for New York and I was like, I'm not gonna re-register it for New York. I need to get it done in Florida and I just never got around to it. So then I came and then the notice was on it. They were like, oh, we're gonna tow your car. And I'm like, first of all, you're not, so thank you so much. So I had to go to the Florida DMV, get new license plates and you know, the whole thing. So in Florida, it's only one license plate. It goes on the front of the car. In New York, it's two front and back. So now I just have one license plate and it's a very odd license plate. So I just went with, I don't care, okay? Give me generic, give me the plain one. I don't need anything special. I'm not doing a vanity paid for my old ass car. If I upgrade to like a fancy car, then I'll do it. But I'm not even into fancy cars, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, let's go in with Transformation from the Heather Austin palette. This is like a beautiful shimmery purple, pink with green. Like it's a beetle kind of shade. Like it has purple and pink. These are beautiful dual chrome. Should I use a finger? I hate fingering things. Ooh, okay, let's use the finger. So, right, so now I had to go to the DMV. So I went to the DMV, got my license plate, and like they're transferring the title and all that. It was really seamless, and I was really surprised because I expected it to be a headache because if it was New York, it would have been a headache, right? But I didn't even wait that long. I was in line, but it wasn't even like a long wait. And they did it same day I got my license plate. Like I didn't have to wait for anything, right? It was great, but yeah, it was expensive too. But anyway, that's like a one-time thing because then when you renew the registration, it's like a minimal fee because you already paid for the license plate and all that. And they just have a sticker. Instead of the sticker being on your, um, your windshield like it is in New York, which just, it's ugly, right? They have it instead on the license plate. So you get a sticker that you put in like a little spot on the license plate, which I thought was interesting. And it just has the month and year of the expiration. So for me, it's gonna be January because it's always on your birthday. That's like a really easy way to remember. It's always gonna be your birthday month and whatever year, right? So for me now, it's gonna be January 2025. I did two years, so that works out well. All right, what are we gonna do going forward? I need something a little bit dark and dusty. Should we do this rich dark purple here? Let's try it. I think I put a little bit of it and a little of the red next to it, like the dark burgundy. Yeah, let's do that. So, did that. And then I had to go to urgent care because I couldn't get a appointment for a podiatrist. The podiatrist near me, okay, I made an appointment. Okay, and I was trying to go in on the Friday. I made an appointment, everything, right? They called me, like confirmed all this stuff. Lo and behold, the day comes of the appointment. I go to the office and it's closed and it says we're only in this location on Tuesdays. So I call, I'm like, what's going on? And they're like, oh, we're at this other office today. And I'm like, I wasn't told that. And the thing about it is, if I make an appointment, if I call and make an appointment, wouldn't you say to me, I'm a new patient. So I told her I was a new patient and you know I'm a new patient. Why wouldn't you confirm the location with me? Why wouldn't you do that? So she never did that. So I showed up to the wrong location. I called and they're like, well, we can't fit you in because it's gonna take you a while to get to this location and we don't have any other open appointments. And I'm like, I hate you. I fucking hate you. I'm so mad, right? So that pissed me off. I'm in pain, my foot's swollen. I don't know what's going on. So I was like, all right, forget it. And she's like, oh, well, you can come in next Tuesday to that location. I'm like, I'm in pain right now. Your Tuesday is not helping me, okay? I'll call back, bye. So I was pissed. I ended up just going to urgent care because I couldn't get an appointment for any other doctor on that Friday 
because most of the places close early one and then they're already booked up and then two I'm going in with the matte black now which is free hugs the dark purple is I like to be hugged and the red like the deep burgundy is play pals this is cute I like these mattes so far that dark purple kind of was a little patchy but that's because you're layering right so it doesn't have anything to pick up on but this black is picking up fine. It's saving the day. I don't mind building and layering shadows to get the desired effect. It's fine. I'll work with it. Let me dampen my brush because I want to go in. That purple from the Heather Austin Unearthly palette is really cute. I don't think I want to use any shimmers from the Glam Light palette. I don't really like their shimmers. But the Unearthly shimmers, something about Unearthly, let me tell you. They have some beautiful dual chromes. Like they have dual chromes and multi chromes in their palettes, which I really appreciate. They're really stunning. So I couldn't get an appointment. I ended up at urgent care. And at this point, I'm in so much pain. I'm in agony. I'm hobbling, okay? I couldn't put weight on the foot because it's swollen. It's painful. It's like a whole situation. I'm like hobbling into the urgent care. I get in. And they x-ray the foot because I'm like, I don't know if it's fractured. I don't know what would have fractured it because I don't remember anything falling on it. But y'all need to help me out because I'm in pain, okay? So they did the x-ray. They realized that, no, it wasn't a fracture, thankfully. Because Jen Love, she mentioned that it could have been a stress fracture, right? I'm going back into the Heather Austin palette and picking up Life, which is this white. But it's not really white. It's looks white but it's like a pink like a you know that shimmery light icy pink yeah with like a lavender dual chrome to it you know that kind of shade it's like a white base but it has like a shift so this is like a white with a pink shift so jen had mentioned that she had gotten a stress fracture from walking around i think it was eye mats but she was walking around and she ended up with a stress fracture so i was like oh my god it sounds like it could be a stress fracture i think it could be a stress fracture from the steel toe shoes right the steel toe boots that i was wearing and maybe the pressure of like the laces in the front of my foot like put too much pressure and i have a stress fracture right so that's what i thought it was and i mentioned it to the to the pa that was there because, you know, urgent care doesn't really have doctors. They have PAs, which they're just one step down from a doctor, right? So I don't mind going to a PA. And it's almost like some of these PAs pay more attention to you and ask more questions. I don't know. It feels like they're more attentive. I don't know what it is. Anyway, this urgent care. So the guy, oh my God, he was so gorgeous too. He was so cute. Short, short, short guy. But the assistant, oh my God, he was also short. He's trying to flirt with me and ask me, oh, what are your plans? Because it was Mother's Day weekend. He's like, what are your plans? Where are you going? What's for dinner? And I'm like, get out my face. I'm in pain. I don't need you flirting with me. And you're not even cute. <laughs> I'm sorry. But if you're, you ever get offended by someone flirting with you and you're like, you have some fucking nerve to think that you are in any position to be flirting with me. Like, come on now, I have options and you're not one of them. <laughs> that is mean. That is mean, Tina. But no, like, play in your lane, okay? Play in your lane. Understand your limitations, okay? Uh, I'm a solid eight. <laughs> I don't need to date a, a two. Don't do that. And, and <laughs> I am so terrible. But no, like, he wasn't even cute. And he was short. And he was kind of frumpy looking like, dude, me and you, for real though, for real. Just because I'm in a pain and I'm going to hurt me don't mean say, I'm not cute. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? So he's there and he's short. So he comes in and he's like, um, how tall am I? I'm like, I'm 5'8". And he's like, oh, okay. And I didn't know why he was asking my height. I was like, okay, that's kind of odd. But it was for crutches because... <laughs> They said, girl, you are in pain. You can barely walk. We're going to give you crutches. I'm like, Lord Jesus. So imagine me now with crutches. So the PA got tell me about, oh, <laughs> I should, you know, use the crutches to take the pressure off my foot so it can get some rest because that's really what it boils down to. My foot needs some rest. And 
And the diagnosis, the prognosis that he gave me is, let me tell you what it is, Morton's neuroma, right? Which is a thickening of the tissue around a nerve in the foot that has been irritated or damaged. And the symptoms can often be eased with treatments you can try yourself. So, what they're saying, what he's thinking is that, oh, this eyeshadow is pretty like, do you see that like beetle effect? Oh my God, that love that, love that. So, what did I just do? I applied this new primer from L'Oreal. They sent this to me. This is the Prime Lab Advanced Derm Primer. It's the pore minimizing option. There are four options. So there is a green color corrector. So this is a redness eraser. It has 4% niacinamides. Covers redness and evens tone over time. Really great. Then they have another color corrector. This is the peach or orangey one. This is really orange, it's not peach. It's a dullness reducer, 4% niacinamide as well. These have some pigment to them. So if you have redness, or if you have dullness and you want to brighten your complexion, those are powerful, right? And they're from the drugstore, so they're gonna be a little bit cheaper, even though L'Oreal prices are not that cheap anymore. They're like bordering on $20, I'm sure. And then we have the pore minimizing one that I just used. So this has 1% AHA, LHA, and BHA, which blurs pores, skin looks smoother over time. So this has like chemical exfoliants that will keep your pores clean, you know, exfoliate them, clean them out, get the gook out. So I love a good AHA, LHA, BHA combo. It's always a good time, but it's really BHA, I think that works for oily skin. Good, so I just apply that to my pores. It doesn't feel like silicone. It doesn't really feel like it's doing much of anything but it does feel nice. It's not slick or anything, so I will continue to use that. I like a good primer, right? It, I enjoy a proper primer. And then they have the matte version. This one has 1% LHA and salicylic acid. My skin loves salicylic acid. Oh yes, if I have a face wash that's for acne, give me salicylic acid. If I have an acne treatment, salicylic acid works for me. So I love that this has salicylic acid in it. Again, it's gonna mattify, grips makeup, no shine, and skin looks rebalanced over time. I like that. Skincare in primers to me is like a great option, even in foundation. I like having skincare, but I know some people don't like the combination because they would prefer to choose their skincare and keep their makeup as their makeup. I don't mind having skincare in my makeup. At the end of the night, when I wash my face, I want my skin to still feel good under the makeup, you know, before I have to put skincare on. So if my makeup can have some skincare in it, I am all for it. So that matte primer, kind of nice too I'll let that sit for a little bit and let me drink some juice so he wants to give me crutches and I'm like sir what do you know? he's like well you can use the crutches or you can get a cane and hobble around <laughs> I'm like what I look like with a cane though right what I look like I'm gonna use this new foundation that I picked up this is from Bosma it's the foundation stick this is new to Sephora. So it's Bosma Beauty and it was created by the namesake Bosma. She suffered third degree burns on her face as an infant so she turned to makeup to help camouflage the scars and she even created a scar camouflage procedure later in life which is a treatment that implants skin tone pigments into scar tissue. You know if you have scars it doesn't look like your skin so she created that procedure and she had two clinics that were serving various clients over the years. And so she decided to develop this, you know, foundation. It's available on their website as well as now on Sephora. So this foundation is meant to work with all kinds of skin types, skin tones, and various shades. So there are 40 shades available. It's hydrating, buildable coverage with a natural finish. It says it can build from light to full, which is interesting because how? How, Sway? How are you going to go from light to full? I feel like, yeah, I'm getting dark because of my 
my window. I don't want to completely close the window because I feel like this natural daylight can still help you to see like how this looks on my skin. So let me hurry up. So it's good for uneven texture, which remember again, she has scars. So that's always helpful. It's a buildable lightweight foundation stick that evens out skin tone and leaves your skin with a natural glow. I don't like that part of it, but it says it's a natural finish. It's just like glow. I don't want it. So it has aloe vera extract to support collagen production and visibly improve elasticity. Vitamin E, which facilitates skin hydration. Apricot butter, which helps nurture, revitalize, and soften skin. So, we're gonna try this out. The really great thing I've heard about this, and I heard this from Khaki as well, is that the shade range is really adaptive. So you'll be sure to find your skin tone matching this. I don't know how true that is, but based on the models, it seems like that may actually be true because they have really deep shades. So the number one shade, they do the reverse number in again, which I love to see. So number one is a neutral shade for really deep skin tones. And I'll show you the model has a really rich skin tone and that looks beautiful on her. And then there are a few deep rich shades. The shade I picked up is number 14. You know, I'm like in the deep tan range. So number 14 is for tan skin with neutral undertones, which sounded exactly like me. And when I swatched this, let me show you something. Let me show you something. I'm gonna do this. You can barely see it, right? You can kind of tell though because it's neutral so it stands out a little bit more. But like it already melts in so seamlessly with my skin. I'm just like how sway and Khaki from Khaki Reviews Beauty, she mentioned that people really love the range because they're able to find like two or three shades that work for their skin tone and I'm like I'm on board like I am on board sign me up I am ready for it so it says I'm probably applying I shouldn't apply that much <sighs> it comes in this beautiful pink packaging too magnetized really great packaging it feels heavy duty I love the feel of the packaging this is 0.22 ounce so not a lot of product but that's like usual for stick foundations it's not a ton of product that they come with Let's blend this out, shall we? Just gonna use a Smashbox foundation. Is this a foundation brush? Yeah, full coverage foundation. So let's just blend that out. So it says it goes from light coverage to full. I just want like a solid medium. So let's blend this out. I think this is gonna give me a light coverage. On the instructions, it says to like apply all over the face and blend it out and then build up coverage as needed. Those few swipes did not give me any kind of heavy duty coverage at all. I feel like I didn't even put anything on. Hold on now, child. Hold on. Like the coverage is there though, cause you see it covered up. Let me just do it around my mouth so you can see what I'm talking about. It covered up the dark areas around my mouth, like the hyperpigmentation. It's definitely working for that. And it blends out really nicely. Remember, I have like the matte primer on. And it's blending that out really nicely. You know? I feel like if I had a more hydrating primer on, it will blend even more effortlessly. But that blended well. And let me build up some more on the rest of my face. Because I feel like I need more. What I like so far about the stick is that it's not too emollient the product itself so it's not applying too much product as i swipe it across my skin some stick foundations when you glide them across your skin they're so melty and buttery that you can overdo it like a lot comes off this is a stiffer stick <laughs> it's a stiffer stick so it's not applying too much product there's more control is what i'm saying about how much product you deposit and the skin match, that's lovely. And it doesn't feel heavy either. So that's the other thing about like really emollient sticks. They can feel really heavy. Like there are a lot of butters and oils in them, but this doesn't feel heavy at all. Let me look, oh God, nearly broke down, Lord Jesus. I nearly broke up the things. 
So, hmm, trimethicone is the first ingredient. I do not know what that is, but it sounds like a cone. And there's no water, there's some wax. There, yeah, some wax, some apricot kernel oil. I don't love that. Vegetable oil, aloe leaf extract, which they mentioned, retinyl palmitate, and sorbic acid. That's the vitamin C. Um, it doesn't feel greasy or oily, so that's a good thing. But when you have oils, I don't really like that in foundation because I have oily skin. But we'll see how this fares. We're just gonna blend it out. Like I said, it's like a stiffer formula. It almost feels a little bit drier and not in a bad way. Not like, oh my God, this is a dry product. It's just, it's drier so it doesn't feel as slippy, which to you may be a bad thing. For me, it's ideal because I don't like a slippy foundation. And like I said, the match is pretty nice. And the finish is a very, natural finish and I don't know if it's matte looking because of the matte primer that I used but I feel like I don't even need a powder because it is kind of matte if you want me to do a wear test let me know I won't do one now because it's too late in the day it is six o'clock and I have to go to the airport to pick up my cousin but I like it so far let me do some concealer because I don't feel like putting that under my eyes I'm gonna use the one I've been enjoying lately, which is the Givenchy one, and I'll put that all under the eyes. Now, this is a neutral undertone as well, but I almost feel like it's a bit peachy against this neutral undertone. Undertones seem to be different across brands, okay? <laughs> some neutral undertones will be more peachy, some more golden, some more olive, some more gray. There's no consensus, okay? No one knows what is what, but it's supposed to be neutral. So I think it should blend well with this foundation. So far, it seems to be doing fine. So yeah, the foot, the man gimme. Um, when give me the crutches, then he gave me an anti-inflammatory like five day prescription to get the swelling down because he was concerned about the swelling. The swelling has gone down. The pain has subsided. So I finished the medication and the man, Lord Jesus have mercy, let me tell you what the man do. This is a Jones Road powder. So they sent me these powders. They recently launched new shades. So they asked me what shades I wanted to try out. So I told them, give me the medium shade, right? And then uh, the yellow shade. Now the yellow, I'm gonna do the yellow under this eye. Now this is strictly like a cornstarch and silica powder. I don't think that, <laughs> you know, it's the best formula. There's nothing special about it other than maybe the quality of the silica and the cornstarch, but it's just cornstarch and silica. Like that's the ingredient list. I mean, there's a little color too, but like the primary ingredients are silica and cornstarch. That looks okay. That's the yellow one. Let's use the medium because I don't think the medium will match the rest of my skin. Does that foundation match look good? So he's, he also gave me this um, anti-inflammatory, well the prescription was for an anti-inflammatory cream. Child, it was for arthritis and I'm like, I know he didn't give me some arthritis gel and I'm like, this is, this is my life now. I turned 40 and now I'm falling apart. It's fine, it's fine. But he was so cute, short though. So when they gave me the crutches, they had crutches for like somebody that was 5'10". So they were like, oh, it might be too, too high for you. So I just had to make it work because they didn't have like something for 5'8". Because the way crutches are supposed to work, I didn't know this, they're not supposed to be under your arms. They're supposed to be like right here and you're just supposed to balance on it and straighten your hands. So your hands are straight. It's not supposed to be under your arms and then you just use it for balance, whatever. He was trying to show me how to use it, but he could barely show how to use it because he's short. So <laughs> I'm like, short king, it's fine, it's fine. And we were laughing because we were talking about the new surgery for men, the BBL for men. This is also a Jones Road brush. They sent this. This is the powder brush. It's a little scratchy. I don't know if this is natural hair or synthetic, but it is scratchy. Listen, I am not used to scratchy brushes. Who is this calling me? Hello? Hello, my name is 
Nicole. I'm calling from Harry and David. I'm calling regarding an order that was placed with us on the 18th. I'm actually glad I took that call because it's for some chocolates that I ordered. So my nephew is grad. Well, my nephew already graduated, but we're having his graduation party on Saturday, right? It's the Memorial Day weekend. It's a long weekend. My uncle is coming. My cousins are coming. Like we're getting the family together. Like my aunts are coming. Like it's a whole thing, right? So I'm going in with my Say Powder brush because this is much softer much more comfortable than that scratchy brush we were talking about brushes on the trip too and <laughs> i'm a brush snob okay scratchy brushes i can't do it i'm so used to food a and so, like don't play with me with these tough brushes i'm not doing it what do you mean now this is delayed your package is still on the way but it might arrive or no i don't need it to arrive later Oh, so the chocolate woman just called me, right? Okay, <laughs> that's what I got the call about. So I ordered like a tower of chocolates for the dessert table that we're having. We're having the party, so it's like a whole spread. You know the thing. So we have the dessert table, right? And I ordered chocolates. This is, I don't need this now. What do you mean, Wednesday? No. So I ordered, <sighs> this is annoying because I need these oh my god so I'm gonna have to see if I can get them in store anywhere fudge so I ordered the chocolate tower and she just called me and told me oh they're out of stock and they're not restocking until October ma'am ma'am okay and the shipping was expensive because I, I expedited shipping to have them here in time and now you're telling me that I can't have them so now she just asked me if she could replace it with this other order which is fine I'm like just give me the refund for the difference in price fine as long as you can get it to me by Saturday so she's gonna try to get them to me by Saturday she said the delivery would be Saturday so it depends on how late or how early the delivery person comes right anyway now this sign is not gonna get here so this is for the graduation sign the yard signs and they're telling me i won't get it until wednesday <sighs> okay so i'm gonna need to try to figure that out now so right right what was i telling you so the guy i show me off to do the the hip hop with the, the the um the thing right and we were laughing about the surgery because i'm like well you know if you have a problem with your height guess what you can now this is from sigma it is their matte bronzer in the shade Deep. So Sigma was also um, one of the sponsors for the trip. So they, you know, they gave goodies. So they also gave me a discount code. So if you want to shop from Sigma, you can use... Wait, this expired already. What's today? Oh, Lord, that expired already. But, I mean, you can try it anyway. You can use Fancy Face to see if you can get a discount. It was until May 14th, so it may not <laughs> it may not work, but if you want to, you can try it out. Ooh, that was a lot. I figured that the dark wouldn't work, and now the deep is too deep. Mm, mm, I'm blending it out, child. So, what may I tell him now? So, may I tell him we're alive, right? So, I said, well, if you're really that, like, bothered by it, you could do the surgery, you know? Like, one guy went from 5'5 five five to 6 feet. You could try, I'm trying out the dark one now. He went from 5'5 five five to 6 feet, you know? So, if you really were bothered, you know? <laughs> it's an option now. Because, you know, women do their BBLs when they want to, you know, modify if they're not comfortable with their boobs or their hips or their ass. So, like, get into it. I'm like, you know, we love short kings, but, you know, women can be really judgy. He's like, well, it doesn't matter because I don't date women. I'm like, <laughs> woo! So, I'm like, are men judgy about height? Because I don't know then. He's like, not really. I'm like, ha! Win for you! But he was so cute. He was ultra cute. I'm like, you go, boo. He had a ponytail and everything. Cute, cute. Loved him. And he was really sweet, too. He was like, girl, <laughs> okay, rest your foot, right? And I was like, all right, I'm going to rest my foot because... So that's the Sigma. That's not bad. That Sigma bronzer was not bad. Okay. I was interested in their face products. I wasn't interested so much in their eyeshadows. 
but I wanted to try out their face products. So I'm so happy that they sent those my way. So the deep is a little bit too deep and the dark is just about, just about right. I think that's a good shade, right? I thought it was gonna be too light, but it really wasn't. So the powder, oh, I used the Jones Road powder. I continued going over the rest of my face with the medium shade. I thought it was gonna be too light. Ended up being fine. The banana one is brightening, it's fine. But the medium one, thumbs up, that worked really well. I'm gonna see, what does this foundation look like? It looks nice, it looks nice. Is it anything? I don't know, like I don't feel like, oh, Sigma also has a brow gel. This is the clear one, so let me try it out. I don't know that I'm like floored right now because the formulation doesn't feel like creamy and luxurious. I know I was just praising the formulation that's a little bit stiffer, so it's more, there's more control, you know? But it doesn't feel as luxurious now that it's, you know, a stiffer formula. Let me try this brow gel, child. So they have tinted ones, but this one is the clear. And I think they just gave everybody clear instead of trying to figure out our shade, which is fine. It's fine. I like a good brow gel. Like a good, a good brow gel is always, you know, in season. So let's just fix those hairs in place. So, so far so good with these products. The bronzer worked out fine. The foundation is nice. I'm not going to say it's not nice, but I felt like I had to swipe it on quite a bit. It felt a little dry, but that could also be the primer. So I'm going to keep testing this out and see how it goes. So long story short or short story long, I ended up with crutches, arthritis cream, and some anti-inflammatory meds. So I took those. The foot now feels weird. So one of the side effects or one of the symptoms of the Morton's Neuroma it's not just the pain, but now you'll have like numbness in your foot and tingling. You know when your foot falls asleep? That's what it feels like now in my big toe. So my big toe is numb and I don't like that. And it says the symptoms should go away in like two weeks. If it, you know, gets worse or you feel that numbness, you may need to go to a podiatrist. So I think next week I'm going to a podiatrist because it not feel nice. It don't feel nice. It feels weird. I'm using my... Amicole mascara which is my favorite now I rotate through mascaras I have no loyalty to makeup I like to try new things way too much I mean I do have some loyalty like there's some holy grail products that I use over and over and over and I never get rid of like I've been using that NARS concealer for years I've used my MAC Lane Low Paint Pop for years my Urban Decay Primer like all of these things I've used for years so there's some ride or die products but I'm always trying out new things and I like to try new things and this is my current fave and it is a wonderful fave I love mascara I love complexion products so you know it's, it's a win for me so after him give me the crutches and the thing now I'm gonna come on my yard. I'm gonna care about I'm about I'm stress, okay? The foot I hurt me. And this eyeshadow is so pretty. The dual chrome is giving it to me. Cause it's like a purple with a green. Do you see it? And then the the oh the shimmery white pink one. That one is just off setting it. It just looks so pretty because it's like brightening the inner tear duff, but without being stark. And then this darkness that we got from the Chucky palette, really cute. So I'm happy with both palettes. And the other palette that we got from Unearthly Cosmetics, Don't Be Jelly, that's also a lovely one. So I am looking forward to seeing more from Unearthly Cosmetics. So far, so good. I am impressed. The foundation, I will need to test some more to see and then the powder I'll also test some more the bronzer seems to be cute so far so good so let's try their highlighter oh I need a blush they have cream blushes too but I'm a little bit nervous after all this powder to do cream should we try should we should we tempt faith right now let's try I'm a little nervous a little nervous let me grab uh Sydney Grace brush. This is the which one is this? It doesn't say. So it doesn't say it on the brush itself, but it's like the round one. Let me try. Oh! 
But I was a little bit more intense than I expected Sigma. So this is the shade Nearly Wild. It's a cream blush and it's like one of the deeper shades. Let me just tap lightly and clean off the brush and then go again. So I'm home, I'm icing, like I have my ice pack. I'm trying to rest my foot as much as possible. So I've been off my foot for a while now. But you know, you still gotta live and carry on. So the foot is not 100%. It's about 85 though. I'll go to the podiatrist though because I feel like that tingling cannot be safe. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it can't be safe. And that blush actually worked out over the powder. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look crepey. It doesn't look cakey. So the powder, the foundation, and the blush are working well together. So kudos to them. I don't know which one is the most impressive because if they're working together so well, it could be any of the formulations or all of them together, but that works really nicely. Like it's still smooth, over all that powder. That's pretty, I'm happy I decided to try it. I am happy that I did. So, the foot, yeah. But then, but then, I can't catch a break. So I lost my voice during the Charleston trip. I got really, you know, croaky because we were yelling and screaming like white elephant, we were screaming. I did karaoke, I was screaming. I lost my voice during karaoke, I lost my breath, I almost passed out. I don't know how these singers do it. I could not. I was screaming. My voice was like a frog. It was awful. It was awful. So I lost my voice. I got hoarse. But you know, that's expected. You're talking a lot. You're having fun. You're laughing. You're loud. It's a whole situation, right? I come back and the foot. And I'm like, oh, Lord. And then the weekend now, the foot. Remember the foot? Me, I try to get it done on Friday. Lo and behold. Saturday, my wake up sick. No, not even Saturday. Friday, I was sick. Friday, I was sick because I got up and I'm like, I don't feel good. Like, I have a fever. Like, I'm feeling warm. I don't think, I think I had like a 99 degree fever. So, it wasn't like a full on blast of fever, but I didn't feel good. So, I rested the day, most of the day, even though I had to go to the DMV and get Thursdays when I went to the DMV. So, maybe I caught it at the DMV, but. DMV, and then of course, may I try to go to the doctor, may I go urgent care. So anyway, I'm catch up. I don't know what I'm catch up. It feels like it's a cold. My COVID test was negative, so it's not COVID, but it sounds like a lot of people from the trip ended up with a bug. So I think it was just a cold, and I had like a fever, and like a stuffy nose, sore throat. It was a little sore, not too bad. So I feel like it was just like a summer cold, which is fine. It's fine. Now I'm kind of mostly recovered and I feel a lot better. I was just tired. I needed to rest. So I sat my ass down and rested. So I haven't been filming. All that to say, <laughs> I have not been filming. Oh my God. So that blush didn't even get glowy either. So nice, nice. All right, let's try their highlighter then. So got a cold. I'm still recovering a little bit, but I'm mostly, <gasps> no, I have the highlighter duo from the Resurgence collection too. So this one has Renewal and Rebirth, and this one is a richer, like a blush topper. It's like a bronzy pink. Let's try that. Ooh. And then you have the white with the pink. Oh, that's nice. I love a blush topper. Like, a it doesn't need to be a highlighter. It can just be a blush topper where you pop it on top of your blush so it glows. That's nice. This is a F Sephora 79 brush. Sephora got some nice brushes, but I think Sephora needs to sell their brand a little bit more. But that high, I shouldn't have put it like, <laughs> why I put it on my cheek? Let's use a little bit of the white on the inner tear duct here. So I'm using a number 12 brush from Refer. This is my favorite pencil brush because of the size, the shape, and how soft it is. Okay, so this white is kind of like the white in the eyeshadow palette, that icy white, but it's a little bit sparklier. Do you see it? So this complements the palette really well. So you can use these as face highlighters or as eyeshadows. Oh my God, that is so pretty. Heather, 
And I love that she has this deeper shade in it. So you can mix to, to customize like a highlighter. You can use it to accent the eyes. You can use it as a blush topper or as a highlighter. That is nice, Heather. Very nice, very nice. And I'm glad I got introduced to Unearthly Cosmetics because I don't know this brand, right? All right, I feel like I should amp this up a little bit with the blue. Let's use the blue because you know I love blue. Cosmology is the name of this blue. I love a blue, so of course I'm gonna wanna use the blue. To me, this palette is not necessarily a standalone palette. You can create looks from it, obviously, with the shades in the palette and stick to it, but you'd have to be more on the creative side and also a little bit more adventurous, which Heather definitely is, and I am too. But to me, most people would use this as like a companion palette. So you would use this for some of these pops of colors and like the multi-chromes and use other shades in your collection. Kind of like I used it with the Chucky palette to create this beautiful look. And I'm happy doing that. I don't mind using multiple palettes, which is what I prefer to do actually. Cause like I have this whole collection, I'm going to use multiple palettes and that blue. This is the final eyeshadow. I'm not gonna put lashes on cause I'm headed to the airport. I'm not doing that girl. The eyeshadow is pretty. You see there's a little bit of patchiness from the Glam Line palette. Just a little bit, it seems a little bit gappy. It's fine, you open your eyes, it's fine. But like the shimmer, the inner tear duct, the cheek. This is cute, right? All right. So that's what's been going on with me. I can't catch a break. Come a foot, is popped up. And then I had to go get my car before it got towed. I had to get that at the DMV. Then I caught a cold and like I was down for two days cause I was sick. I was sick, that was sick, okay? And you know, I'm just tired. <laughs> so let me go figure out a lip, change my top, and I'll be right back to finish up the rest of the video. All right, so I changed my top and I'm back, and I'm just gonna use one of the Rare Beauty lip oils. This is the shade Honesty. I don't know that I love that, hold on. Let's use a Clarins lip oil. Let me zoom out a little bit. So this is the chocolate lip oil. Ew. Let's just put that on. Mm-hmm. These smell so yummy. So I'm just doing something quick and easy. I'll do a swatch fest for the BK Beauty lipsticks. So you can see them on my complexion. I'll probably upload it as a short. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I'll upload it as a short so you can see. So here is the final look. As I said, the eyeshadows, I love them. The foundation, I am gonna continue to test, but I kind of like it. Powder from Jones Road, I'm actually liking it. Even though it's cornstarch and silica, I'm gonna try it some more with other foundations to see how I feel because I feel like it's giving me a very matte look without looking dry or cakey, so I like that. I like the bronzer, I like the blush, I like the highlighter. I like pretty much everything. I do. So that's what's been going on with me, child. That's what's going on. And you guys already know my plans for the weekend. So I have two parties to go to. Hello, Memorial Day, we have a party. Now, I'm gonna have to wear flats because of foot. <laughs> I don't know, I'm still navigating the foot. I feel fine now, I'm not really sick anymore. Still like giving myself a little bit of, you know, rest time. I'm still gonna rest. But yeah, I'm feeling good, and hopefully I'll get some more videos filmed, but I definitely wanted to do this one and check and give you a long get ready with me to watch. I hope you guys have a really great weekend. I will leave all the products listed down below that I used in this video, along with links on where you can pick them up. Some of those links will be affiliate links. They'll have an asterisk next to them. That indicates that I will get a small sales commission. If you make a purchase through any of those links, it doesn't change the sale price. It just gives me a kickback for you using my link. So I really appreciate your support if you shop that way. But if you're not comfortable with that, just shop the way you normally shop, no must, no fuss. I also hope you're following me on Instagram and Twitter where we have tons and tons of fun. And like I said, I hope you guys have a good weekend. It's a long weekend here in the US. I hope you guys have a blast. Stay safe. Please stay safe. 
But yeah, this is like the official start to summer, right? It's our like kickoff to summer. So I'm excited for the summer, the warm weather. It's already warm in Florida, child. We have the thunderstorms. Oh, I didn't tell you about the thunderstorm. Lord, 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 Jesus. So we had a thunderstorm yesterday and I'm here inside and I'm hearing this like click, click against the window and I'm like, what the hell is happening? Like, is there, you know, like, are there trees falling? <laughs> like what's happening? Cause it was windy and lo and behold, it was hail. Oh my God, hail. And I've experienced hail in New York, but it's like little tiny hail. These were like decent chunks of ice that was falling. I was like, what's going on? Is there a tornado watch too? Cause you know that happens. Hail comes down when there's like a tornado in the state. Mm -mm. It was a whole situation, okay? The storm is upon us, okay? But I love a good storm. But it's like hurricane season in June to what, like October, November? So it's gonna be a stormy summer and I love a good storm, so I'm here for it. Like, I don't mind a storm, okay? I really do like a storm, the thunder, the lightning. It's scary, but it's, to me, it's like also soothing because it reminds us that we're just a speck, okay? Nature is in charge and she can do whatever she wants to do, okay? We don't control this, so I love a good storm. Anyway, there you have it. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, hanging out with me, creating this really fun look. I really didn't feel like putting on eyeshadow, and now that I have, I'm like, this is really pretty. I love this inner tear duct highlight. I'm gonna use this again, cause that is really pretty, and I feel like I already have the vibe for like my shenanigans for our parties that we're going to. It's gonna be a good time, so. All right, I'm gonna get out your face right now because this video is already long as it is. I hope you guys are staying safe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.